We all know that transitions are typically a bear for our learners. Moving from one activity to the next can cause resistance, loud objections, and even meltdowns. And yet, once we get to the next activity, to get them off of that and onto the next one causes the same issue. We probably all use the 15, 10, five minute technique of warning that we're going to switch from one transition to another. We're leaving for speech in 15 minutes. We're leaving for speech in 10 minutes. Leaving in five minutes. But we can build on our learner's love of sameness, structure, and even rigidity by using rituals to indicate a transition. I use rituals to begin my one-on-one -on -one reading sessions. I've written the details about that in my book, Whole Child Reading, to give you a, a jump start, an idea, a starting point to create your own rituals. But my primary purpose in doing that with the students is to get those neuromodulators rocking by giving them choices, making them feel like they're in charge. And one of the best ways to get those brain chemicals working is to make them feel empowered and to get their buy-in. The first thing I use is sound. I have a large brass gong with a mallet. And to signal the start of our session, the learner takes the mallet and hits the gong. So it's been both gratifying and amusing to see a student who, at the first session, timidly you know, taps the gong with the mallet, and after a few weeks, she's whacking the heck out of it. Then I give them choices of a natural oil fragrance spray. The sprays are in different colored bottles. They pick the color, they pick the number of sprays, and then while we're inhaling the fragrance of their choice, we repeat some very helpful learning affirmations. And then I wrap it up with a standing brain gym exercise of cross crawls, and then we get to work at the table. Whatever ritual you design, it will be unique. It has to meet the needs and preferences of your learner and also your own needs. So experiment with this and see what works. Will you use music? Will you use a puppet? Will you use a pre-recording of a favorite Disney character? Rituals can be short, long, or anything in between. And if you're homeschooling, you'll probably want to create a different beginning ritual for each of your activities. I think you'll find this helps to move your learner from one activity to another. So experiment with it and if you find something that works really well, share it in the comments below because your ideas can spark other ideas. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.